What's up, numbers? Welcome back to another trailer action from Hyper Rabbit Power Go. I'm Woo! very excited to be doing a trailer action for No Time to Die. No Time to Die. We, who's doing the theme song for this one? I do we know? No clue. We don't know. I don't know if they've. Uh, they probably have announced it. I, I don't follow James Bond news that closely. I'm just excited to watch the movie. Oh wow, you faker. <sighs> That's fine. <laughs> Fuck you, Zach. Such a poser. I know. I don't remember. We anything. just had this conversation, yeah. <laughs> and you were like, "Skyfall is such a nostalgia fest." And I'm like, "I haven't seen all, like all of them all at once in a marathon style. I've just watched bits oh, and pieces of all of them." Me neither. I wish that you could talk about these movies as singular movies instead of "Are you a fan or not?" Yeah. Because you know. some of them kind of sucked big time. <laughs> some of them suck really, <laughs> really some bad. Of them were pretty Casino Royales. I think oh, right, it's the best James Bond movie of That's all what time. got me invested back into James Bond. I, I mean, love that movie. Casino Royale is mwah. It's so good. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, my history with Bond, I never knew that Never Say Never Again was not officially a Bond movie. Because it's like, it's like um, made by a different production company. It's not an officially like sanctioned Bond movie. Interesting. But I didn't know that either. But that's that. the one that was on TV the most. Mm -hmm. So I saw, that th I saw that one the most. And then obviously Goldeneye, Tomorrow Never Dies, and uh, oh, Die man. Another Day. Um, I, I, I had a really fun time watching that quarter digital video that talks about the visual effects. In oh, the, yeah. I think it's Die Another Day where he's like surfing on the <laughs> waves or whatever. Oh, and I got to see that. Super fake. I've but watched every Thanksgiving growing up. It was James Bond Marathon with Dad. Really? Oh, yeah. That's what fun. What channel was that? TNT or something? TBS, maybe? It's TBS. One of those. One of those. Someone One in those the tees. comments is going to know. They'll have a much Atlanta better memory. Networks. But it was every Thanksgiving. Like, oh, it, all right. James Bond. Here we go. Yeah. All the way through. Let's yeah. do it. So this is our, what is this, our fifth Daniel Craig movie? Casino uh, Royale, yeah. Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and then this one, No Time to Die. Yeah. His last entry is 007. Um you said you've been kind of like hit and miss on these movies. Well, I mean, outside of Casino Royale, yeah. That's kind of it. That's your jam. Okay, anything Roger Deakins shoots, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a good time sitting in the theater watching. It's going to mm -hmm. look real nice. It's going to look great. Skyfall was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But as a person who sat through every single James Bond movie, I didn't feel like it was rewarding me for being that fan. It felt like it was patting me on the back and trying to like just I, – I, I don't like that – aspect of some of these new movies mm -hmm. like you know certain star wars films I, I don't want to be pandered to i want something like you know casino royale that's like a new fun take mm -hmm. on something i love and elevating it to a new level and skyfall had some really great scenes shot beautifully but i felt like it was trying way too hard to be like but we're still the james bond that you love don't don't run away don't we're still here yeah we're still we're still here you know trying to like reclick because quantum of solace did so bad i felt mm -hmm. like it was like oh the anniversary that we got to bring it back because it was yeah. the anniversary right oh mm -hmm. that's right i think it was the yeah. 50th I think maybe so, something like that jesus that was a long time ago <laughs> it was 2012 yeah it's tough because it's like a um it's a property that has existed for so long and it's definitely got its diehard fans but mm -hmm. it kind of needs to adapt and change yeah so you're definitely going to make some people upset whenever you definitely. try to do for that for sure uh but i've so far i think daniel craig and you can hate me for it i think he's done the best job in this role uh, but he's also sort of like it's a modern take, so it's hard to even say that these movies mm -hmm. are just so different. Oh yeah, yeah. I, it's really hard to compare because I feel like everyone. I, I feel like it's like the Doctor, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. whoever you grew up with is you're gonna be like, well, that one yeah. was the best Bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, actually, will anyone say Pierce Brosnan was the best Bond? I think most people will say it's either Craig or. In Connery. 1997, I totally would have said that. Sure, <laughs> and I would have been like, who else did it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Holly Berry was in that one. <laughs> <laughs> she was dope. Uh, <laughs> N64 Goldeneye is great. Oh, sh damn, that's my shit. <laughs> I was terrible at it, but damn, that was fun. Um, should we just get into this trailer then? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. It's the trailer Ooh. for the trailer. Why would I oh. betray Nope. We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. That's some interesting motion smoothing going yeah, on. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Was a trailer for a trailer. Oh, Universal's doing this one faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. <laughs> so stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. I thought you two would get along. Woo! Name? Bond. 
James Bond. Nice. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. It's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, oh, yeah. I'm not going to lose control. <laughs> Gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. What is it? You don't know what this is. James Bond. Mm. License to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm yeah. gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Shot. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. okay. <sighs> Kerry Fukunaga. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see this in HDR. Uh, the way we're watching the trailer, which is probably the same way you're watching it, yeah. uh, this YouTube compression, like... The colors are so vivid mm -hmm. that this YouTube compression is not, can't handle it. It looks no. silly. The dynamic range is not there, <laughs> yeah. and I I want to see this. On, I want to see this trailer on a big screen. Yeah, I want to go to the theater fine, and watch man. it. I'll, oh, theater, sure. But I can also go into the press site and probably download a really nice an copy. HDR copy or something. I don't know about HDR, but TV. a better version than this. Shit. I want I want to see like <laughs> yeah. much less compression because there oh, were a lot sure. of shots in that trailer where I was distracted mm -hmm. by the compression and, yeah. and how like the you were blacks. Like, what is this motion smoothing? I'm like, I don't know if that's the compression or. I, I don't think know. there was no in that shot specifically. Yeah. Uh, they were doing that definitely the thing where it's like Keep uh, him center frame. keeping his yeah. head you know locked in like yeah. uh doing some tracking on his face where the rest of the car is moving mm -hmm. which is cool i i think that's fine it's just yeah. not something i'm used to seeing in a bond film but it's mm -hmm. it's fukunawa so we're gonna get some some modern experimental, weird experimental stuff. Yeah. and you could see that some of the cinemato cinematography some of the lighting stuff uh i'm always gonna you know I'm a diehard Deacons fan, so when he's not shooting, I'm gonna be like, oh, you know. But this looks great, and mm -hmm. but I gotta see it in the right format because the, uh, there's so many vivid colors in this. It looks like a comic book movie in a way, but like an old co like these colors are vibrant. Yeah, I am not used to seeing these kind of vibrant colors in a Bond film. Yeah, I say that, but. Like Casino Royale had blues that just. I mean, look at every, his eyes. Yeah, I know eyes every eyes everyone in a Bond silly. movie the, since Daniel Craig became James Bond, everyone's like, "Yo, we're gonna saturate these blues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're gonna saturate them way up, way up." Um, this movie was also shot, from what I read, uh, some digital, but a lot of it was shot 65 and 35. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I like, I really hope that they strike some prints and they play one here at the Universal oh, yeah. Theater because it would look so amazing in an IMAX theater. Um, I love Felix Leiter. Like I love Jeffrey Wright, mm -hmm. and I'm so. This is, I think, his first time coming back since Quantum of Solace. As um, the CIA agent. Yes, yeah, yeah. Felix Leiter. So I'm excited to see it. I also really like this relationship that they've set up. Yeah. So it's like you can obviously tell that James Bond probably retired after the events of the last movie, mm -hmm. and the Double O title has sort of been passed on to the but next his agent. Is coming back to hunt. Yeah, and now he's kind of he's had to come back out of retirement I'm, for one final run. I'm really mad that I can't remember enough of the last movie to even get the big setup here. Like the last movie With left Blofeld. such a kind a of forgettable little yeah. impression on me that mm -hmm. I'm like I feel like I should know why this is important, but I forgot most of them. I'm gonna movie. have to go back and watch. I watched it in theaters and then I never thought about it again. Yep, <laughs> same. <laughs> I told Zach. Hard same. And I hate saying this. I hate being that person. But I'm pretty sure I fell asleep during Spectre. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I went to, like, a 10 p.m., 11 p.m. showing, and I just saw it too late. And I remember kind of zoning in and out of it because it just didn't engage me enough. Not the way that Skyfall did. Not yep. the way that – definitely not the way that Casino Royale did. We still put that movie on. Like, we just put on a few months ago. And yeah. It's fully engaging. Also, Casino Royale has one of the best – even though it's not – is it out in 4K yet? Um, but the Blu-ray conversion of yeah. Casino Royale is 
beautiful mm-hmm. such a good conversion of that film and like yeah. every time they go to one of those wide vista you know oh my god shots you're just oh yeah just put that on in the background good stuff and this definitely feels like a it's definitely a sequel to the last movie which i'm yeah. fine with because if you're gonna do a continuation of his story it's kind of it's it's a sequel i just wish the last one was more memorable so i knew what was going on so you care more about what's happening here this trailer isn't telling us much it's expecting us to know yeah and i don't feel like i and i could be making a huge assumption here Mm -hmm. i there could be a ton of people out there there's such big james bond fans they remember everything for sure just like we are with certain other things right i don't know i don't think the last movie left an impression on anyone. I really. mean, it was five years ago too, right? That was like 2015, wasn't oh, it? Was it already? Yeah, that long it was ago? been a minute. Yeah, it's five yeah, by that's the true. time this comes out. Because there was a lot of conversation whether or not he'll come back and do another one. True. Um, so yeah. this uh, this may have already been answered. This mm-hmm. is so. This is the end of Daniel Craig, right? Uh, as 007, and is if this is like a passing of the mantle movie, is this the first time? This would be the first time that that's happened, where it's kind of like anything else is sort of like a sequel within this universe the Daniel Craig universe of James true. Bond. I don't think that's happened before, has it? No. Wait, are they the actually doing that? I don't know if that's been answered. Uh, well, it feels like a passing of the mantle movie yeah. to me. If so LaShawn I'm Lynch is playing the new 007, If she takes then, up the yeah. mantle, then it's like this is still within the same James Bond so universe. So Daniel Craig could, if he doesn't die, he could still exist in this world. Yeah, he could make appearances maybe. Right, right. But regardless, it's sort of like a setup that. for the next. Do you think they're ballsy enough to do it? I think I they should. Know. I think, I think they should. Ballsy enough to I do think it would be yeah. amazing if they did. And I mean, look at all the characters that they've set up in the previous movies. Money Penny. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, you have the new M. And if it is really like a passing of the torch, that would be kind of nuts. Because yeah, you're right. That's never been done before. Yeah. That we've seen not only the role of James Bond pass on to someone who's not or 007 pass on someone who's not James Bond yeah but also like I mean M obviously did come back for his movies and it was the same actor but we just kind of accepted that and let that go that it's like mm-hmm. well we want this really great actress to continue playing M yeah, right. but they did such a good job of transitioning it over to Ray Fiennes where it's like you have him as the sort of the leader mm-hmm. of this team and then you have Q but then you have all these incredible new characters mm-hmm. who are double O's or other agents that are going to It's like, why recast all of that? Right. <laughs> They're probably on board to keep making these And movies. I think it's a really... Jeffrey Wright's like, I want to check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to be in the movie. I want to be in the movie. Well, Kerry Fukunaga talked about how like be bringing back Felix Leiter was such an important thing for him because he loves Casino Royale. Mm-hmm. He's a huge fan of that movie, which, make, which makes me really yes. excited. So, yeah. I, I think everything that's being set up and if it does go the sequel route and whatever the next movie is, it's LaShawn Lynch's 007 with the supporting cast, whoever makes it out of this movie, that could be amazing. Mm-hmm. It would be so fucking baller if yeah. we get to see her come into this movie, arguing with him, blah, 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 and they throw in a couple scenes where there's just like some guy leaving her room whenever he walks in. She's like, what? Yeah. And he's like, no judgment. <laughs> I just fucked that guy. <laughs> I, fuck I, want I want that. I want that. I want that. And I feel like Daniel Craig's the perfect actor to be like, good on you. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You mm. do you. Yeah. You know, exactly, like he's got sure. that like, mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I want. I want that to happen so bad. There's already and there's already been talk about you know who could play Bond next, but I think what you just said, that's a discussion I have not heard people talk about. It's at an all. interesting thought, and I yeah. will probably learn that before this movie even comes out. I hope not. I don't <laughs> think we will. You don't think so? I don't think. We, I feel like that is something they're going to hold to their chest, until and the, we probably won't know until, until, until it might out. depend on how well this performs. It, it might depend on how well this performs. They might be testing. Okay, can this be a passing of the torch, mm-hmm. or do we need to reboot? Yeah, yeah. and because it's there's a tradition to rebooting, and I feel like these the Bond legacy. Even if they want to pass the torch, there's going to be an expectation to eventually reboot. Who's yeah. the next Bond? It's something mm-hmm. people talk about all the time. Who will be mm-hmm. the next James Bond? And Not just the next 00, right. but the next James Bond. Exactly. And this will be 13 years since Casino Royale. So it's about that time to start yeah. passing that torch yeah. Yeah. over to someone else or someone new. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they do like one or two movies of a pass the torch before they mm-hmm. reboot. Uh, I'm, I, I want to see it. I've been watching these movies forever. Since I've been alive. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let's I'm, do it. I'm open to something. Go for it. I'm, I'm totally open to something new after this because I agree. I mean, we've had now, I think this is the 25th Bond movie and James Bond has been the main character all the time. And I think like you, what you were saying, if this world exists, whatever happens next exists in a world where Daniel Craig's James Bond is still alive. Like, yeah, he could take on some sort of or different is he? role. Yeah. Or is Maybe he? Maybe he dies. He dies. Movie. Maybe that's a, no, no time, time to, to die until right? the very end when the movie's over. <laughs> that's right. The whole, the the whole movie, he's just being like, I don't have time to die yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the very end, he's like, all I right. Time. <laughs> I can squeeze it in. <laughs> There's like an after credit scene. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Seven <laughs> seconds to go. Uh, yeah, so I think if you if going forward it's to honor the legacy of what it means to be 007 and James Bond is sort of like the founding member of what that legacy means mm-hmm. and then we continue on forward with these new iterations of 007, I'm, I'm cool with That's it. That's a cool uh, idea. Yeah. I do think there's a huge amount of money in just rebooting the franchise now that you of say course. that. Of just like the hype that goes around of like, mm-hmm. here's the new James Bond that you if had like, no idea. Yeah. That's, there's a lot of cool marketing And if it, the internet had their way, it would be Henry Cavill. Yeah. Um, uh, if the internet had their way, yeah. Idris Elba. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's true. I feel like I'd if it was an internet that. debate... Idris Elba. Well, I've seen both. I've seen Idris and Henry Cavill. Well, if Henry Cavill is in there, then I should be in there too. Don't underestimate how thirsty people are for Idris Elba. I'm thirsty for Idris Elba. People will come out to bat for that. Oh, for sure. That's make make a Henry Cavill a Bond villain. Yeah. That yeah. would be sick. Then you get he both, was so good you in get both those you tasties. Me? You know? I know. Yeah, you I know. get two tasties in one movie. It was funny. So we did the trailer reaction for uh, Black Widow last night, and I sort of made the uh, made the comparison that the um, Black Widow movie feels more like uh, Bond and – what was the other one? Bond and Born. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of expecting more Mission Impossible. This feels a little less what we're traditionally kind of used to for Bond in the last couple of movies, and it feels a little bit more Mission Impossible. Which I'm here for. Well, same, same. Because Mission Impossible went from something completely different yeah. and turned into what – It is now It's Fallout. so funny because it feels like – yeah, it feels <laughs> like a kind of flipping It feels like Casino Royale helped inspire the modern iteration of, of Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible you yeah. Have, and this like more – rooted and grounded yeah. they're elevating each other yeah. which is great which is awesome that's better for us and i feel like movies like john wick elevate this genre too True. Mm-hmm. because people are like shit how do we how do we that compete action. with yeah, yeah with john yeah. wick how do we how do we make this stuff happen and mm-hmm. and go for that big action and bond has its own kind of action that you ha- you got to have a car chase but it's got to mm-hmm. be a very specific kind of car chase yes. which is why i love mission impossible because mm-hmm. like we're gonna give you a car chase but it's gonna be a little different it's yeah. gonna feel yeah. different <laughs> yeah. it's not gonna have the same vibe yeah and you, you know we're gonna have to get that car chase we have to have beautiful women in there we mm-hmm. gotta have you know government organization secret villain all this you know it's all very formulaic mm-hmm. but it's a formula that's really fun to play in it is and uh, i'm excited to see it i'm really excited to see this trailer on a not shitty youtube <laughs> impression mm-hmm. even when you were just scrubbing through it again and there's the scene of them in the bed together and i'm just like these col- this is not meant to be yeah. seen what like is this, this pixelation yeah. yeah i'm like these colors are just so like crushing against each other have you guys seen knives out yet no. no. Okay, so I – and I didn't put this together until the posters came out yesterday, but I love the fact that it's Daniel Craig and Anna de Armas in a movie together again because mm-hmm. they're in Knives Out together, and they're, they're so great. They have such great chemistry, and they're so fun to watch, and they yeah. have, like, a really interesting – Yeah, dynamic. So I'm happy to see Benoit Blanc and Marta Cabrera have and their own whodunit. And she gets to kick serious ass in this yeah. movie. Those dual she's, guns. She's great in Blade Runner 2049. Oh, yeah. Um, Speaking of 2049. Yeah. Instead of playing the whole game, who do we want to be the next Bond? Mm-hmm. Who do we want to see direct the next Bond movie? Mm. Uh, I mean, if Because you said, Villeneuve is, like, at the top of my oh list. Oh, my God. If you said Denis Villeneuve was going to come in and do a Bond movie, I would probably jump I'd out the window in there. excitement. That would probably be my top pick, honestly. Damn, that's a really good question. Um, damn, that's I good. I want Villeneuve and Deacons. I know. Mm, that would be right there. beautiful. God, that would be so good. Um, if I'm just kind of spitballing based on things I've recently seen, uh, Deborah Chow. Okay. Uh, that'd be that'd be an interesting one. Um, shit, I don't know. I'm trying to think who else. I have nobody on this. <sighs> I feel like everybody's always talking about who's going to be the next Bond. I'm like, ah. I'm we've had Mendes for a while. You know? yeah. We've had a couple of Mendes movies. Yeah. I'm excited to see Fukunawa's take. Uh, but who's next? I know. That's a really good question. And, some, and sometimes like, sometimes they pick people out of left field, and you're like, I don't know if this is going to – like. I I thought Mendez was out of left field when yeah, they picked exactly. him, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was. I didn't Maybe, really – I didn't know. vibe. <laughs> You didn't vibe with Maybe with his style. A little too British. No, I'm just kidding. A little too British. Wow. <laughs> a little too Bond. Oh my god. For my taste. A little too Bond for my taste. <laughs> a little too Mendes. Yeah, I don't know if I have anyone in particular right now. I think also it would depend like who's gonna play Bond. If it's Idris, then yeah. I have like different types of directors that I would want to consider for Interesting. that. Interesting. Yeah. Um, did you say Christopher? Mm-hmm. Nolan? No. Oh Macquarie. Who? Oh Macquarie. But oh, I mean, at the same time, it's like, nah, we shouldn't do that. He's stay doing in Mission so well. Impossible. Stay on Mission and Impossible. And he's doing two more. So yeah, just I don't stay know. over there. Stay in your lane, and yeah. let's get somebody to compete with that. Yeah. V- yeah, Villeneuve's my <sighs> top pick. Yeah, damn it, Zach. You can't say Denis Villeneuve and then not, like, not want me to want this. <laughs> Bastard. Do you have anyone? 
Man, if I mean, if we're gonna build out a cinematic universe, I think you gotta go John Favreau. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna build out this Bond universe that keeps passing the torch, <laughs> let's start. Let's start. Just let him scratch. improv his way through <laughs> a script. You know, like ah, we're making a Bond I movie. Don't know. <laughs> the whole thing's just shot in a green screen. Everything's CG. Yeah. Let's go! Oh my god, it'll all be shot in Manhattan Beach. Um, yeah, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts. Who do you think should either play the next Bond, or should it be a continuation of this? universe that they've set up and what director should come in Villeneuve is so good I can't unsee it now god damn oh yeah I mean can you imagine like that Casino Royale like mm, yeah you know gritty really I want to see yeah that one fight scene in, in 2049 the in the beginning oh, with, oh, Batista. with Batista like, <laughs> like that right there was enough to like I want to see you do a full-on action movie yeah. I want to see that kind of like grit in like mm, yeah I want to see it down and dirty it was simple very simple, but it was so controlled and so like. And if you have that varying well. level of intensity from 2049 to Prisoners, oh my God, that's like some deep, mm. deep human like trauma yeah, that we're dude. gonna deal with. Yeah, dude. This re- <laughs> nah, well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking and the internet be like, shut this guy up. <laughs> uh, but guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought about this first trailer for No Time to Die. Who should direct the next Bond? Who should be in the next Bond? And How hyped Easter are you eggs. for this? I know. How hyped? And please give us a link for we can watch a better version than this shitty yes, YouTube please. impression. <laughs> this is the official one. Oh, God. And it uh, was pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty gross. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next reaction. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.